Hi, this is Rebecca from Journal Tsunami, and we're going on a tour of some of my favorite tools uh, that I use to do my low content book research. Uh, many of these tools are free. I will also go into some tools that I use that are also paid, and I'll also go into some that are Google research tools specifically. So I'll have all of these. Uh, in a playlist here on YouTube, as well as also available in an attached uh, sheet that you can download yourself. Uh, I use these tools on a regular basis, almost every day, many of them. Most of them are free. Some of them are paid, and the ones that are paid normally have free versions that you can test to see if they'll be of value to you. Now, I have over 15 years of search engine optimization background doing websites and being online for a long time. So some of these tools are a little bit more than most average people need. So hopefully you'll go through each of these uh, videos that I've made and pick the tools that resonate with you. I'll play with them. I mean, that's the nicest part about being online is getting to play with some of these things, especially the free tools. So this tool here, uh, I've been looking at tools that are Chrome extensions, but this particular tool is just a web-based tool and it's free. It's called Sonar. And all you have to do is go to Google, type in Sonar and Amazon, obviously, because Sonar is a, uh, I don't know, it's something the Navy uses and animals use, right? And so Sonar Amazon will give you the tool. It's from Celix.com. And Celix, honestly, is one of the top Amazon SEO companies on the planet. Uh, when you click on their tools, uh, you have the keyword tool, you have sonar tool, which is the one we want, and then they you have their blog. I highly recommend uh, that you go and look at their blog because the Celix blog, uh, Celix is again one of the top tools for many of the top uh, Amazon FBA uh, merchants use uh, and it has lots of great information on understanding Amazon SEO. Amazon is a search engine just like Google. Uh, understanding product research on Amazon translates to us doing research for low content books and the advertising and PPC they're using a very similar platform to our uh, KDP AMS platform so a lot of the uh, aspects of understanding PPC and advertising will also help you if you plan on doing any advertising uh, on Amazon. So it's a wealth of information and so I highly recommend if you are looking for something worth reading and you want to know more about how to get your low content books ranking better um, then Celix.com a dash blog is the place where you want to come and take a look. They have a variety of other products, but this one that we're going to use right here, Sonar, is free. So again, you would go to Google, type in Sonar Amazon, go to the sonar-tool.com, and it will take you directly to that tool. And of course, you'd want to bookmark that uh, on your browser because it is not an extension. At least the free version isn't. So all you need to do is you can type in the ASIN um, and you can also look for synonymous keywords which is fun. So let's type in, uh, let's see, journal to write in for women. So again when we're looking at these keywords that are right here Many of these are the exact same keywords that you would find in the Amazon suggestion drop-down menu when you're searching on Amazon. So journals to write in for women. Now Sonar is one of the best free tools that I know of because look at all the words that I get for free. For free, I'm saying, for free. And even though these are blanked out, when you click to download the uh, comma separated value, the CSV Excel spreadsheet, it actually gives you all of these keywords that you can't see right here. This is like the most amazing site ever. 
And then it also gives you all of these relevant prod products. So it shows you the other books that are ranking for this keyword right on this page. And it also gives you other frequent keywords. So I love to use this when I'm trying to figure out my backend keywords. Sure, you can go and buy expensive tools, but if you don't have the money to buy the expensive tools, Sonar is one of the best tools that you can have at your disposal for your back end. Now, because it's free, you don't want to abuse the platform. Um, I, I, I've never overused it. I'm, I do one niche every week, so I'm not looking at a whole ton of different niches. I've done my research on Amazon. I've gotten down to a certain few things, and maybe I'm looking for some back-end keywords to add to my KDP back-end. So I want to take a look at some other keywords in other places to give me some ideas. And so I will go ahead and I will come to Sonar to give me some more ideas. It also can help me find some other ideas to write, uh, make low content books about Christian journals for women to write in, uh, lined pages. Uh, we can't make spiral journals unless you're doing Lulu or uh, printing them yourself. Um, blank journals, spiritual journals, uh, inspirational journals, uh, yellow journals, who knew that yellow and purple and butterfly journals, they're ranking right up there. Tree of Life journals, grief journals, now that's a really good topic. Uh, weight loss journals, obviously, is something to think about. Bible journals, yoga journals to write in. Um, so all of these are great terms for you to take a look at and research deeper. Let's take a look at the extended keywords and see what we get when we click on that. So these are giving me a little bit more uh, really cool keywords that I can use on my back end. Uh, notebooks, recipe, washer, seamless, Christian, um, gra graduation gifts for her. So that's a really good one to think about. Uh, words with friends, which is a game, um, but friends would be a good one. Um, you can't really use authors names in your back end, but if you were running uh, ads, you could. A uh, five minute journal, that's a, I don't know that that's trademarked, but you certainly can have a play on this term uh, or take a look at it and look it up. Uh, teacher's gifts uh, is a very popular one. Gag gifts is a good one. Seamless Bible study. Now that's an interesting one to go deeper into. And then also I'm seeing the other books that are uh, relevant on the first page of Amazon uh, that are ranking for these terms. So I'm also getting a look at exactly what kind of covers are ranking for this keyword. So um, without belaboring the point, uh, you can type in the ASIN of a certain book. Um, I don't do the translation, but you can have fun with this particular tool. I, again, I wouldn't over utilize it because it's free. I don't know if they actually will stop you if you overuse it, uh, but it's definitely something that I use all the time when I'm looking for my search keywords. So I type in the keyword. I also look at extended keywords and I start jotting down. The nice thing again is that I can download these keywords uh, and open them in uh, Excel spreadsheet. I get all of these keywords. So there's they're not blocking you even though you can't see them right here. You get them in the Excel spreadsheet. So hopefully you've enjoyed looking at this tool. Again, you go to, Amazon, uh, go to Google, you type in Sonar Amazon, you want to pick the sonar-tool.com and that takes you to this page. Uh, well, takes you to the Sonar page before you search. Uh, and then you just type in your search in the toolbar and then you're off to the races, as they say. Again, um, this is Rebecca from Journal Tsunami and hopefully you want to come and join my free Facebook group, which is, the link is down in the description here. We, uh, I also have a mastermind group and in my mastermind group, which is part of my course, we like to talk about research tools and different ways, not just how to make books, but to make sure that we're making books that sell. So look forward to seeing you there and have a great day. Bye-bye.